When I think of fly fishing for bass and bluegill, I think of topwater poppers, but what's the fun of that if you can't make them yourself? I've got just a way to do that. All right, so here's my secret. It's a can koozie, the kind that you use to hold your drink. I've cut this one in half. You can see where I punched a bunch of bodies out already. Did this with a 44 caliber shell casing. You just lay it down on something hard with a hammer, punch them out. This is what you end up with. Now there's a number of different ways we could go with this, but um, I always liked a frog pattern. And uh, I've mixed me up some paint here with some frog colors. I've mixed some yellows with the blues and come up with some greens and some yellow greens. And uh, next thing you know, I'm gonna come out, come back with the lighter green first. Always work from light to dark with your colors. Be kind of messy here. I'm going to leave that little bit of pale underbelly there without painting it. I'm going to have to hit this with a hair dryer before I can go on. I'm going to start my thread. Wrap it about to where it's even with the hook point. Get me some uh, clear fingernail polish and put it on the thread here to create a good base. All right, we're going to start out with a pair of Grizzly Hackle. I'm going to turn these kicker style opposed to each other like that gonna simulate the frog's legs I set it right here get it in place and do some light wraps to begin with to, and then slowly tighten this down just a little and come forward I'll look at it, see what you have wrap a little bit more Trim it off. It's always important to wrap down off the end of the thread and off the feathers, the materials. That's what keeps it from spinning on the hook. Make sure we get everything adjusted. All right. The next thing will be a pair of green hackle. And I'm going to do these towards each other rather than kicker style. Go ahead and cut these off a little bit. Get one on each side. I'm going to tie these a little bit shorter than the first two. Like they're still where they go there. And trim those off. I'm gonna wrap down off the end of this. And then back up to my starting point. Now I'm gonna use a couple yellow hackle. They'll be facing in like the last set of green was. One of these on each side of the hook here. I'm gonna make it nice and short. Something like this. OK, 
Okay, we'll go ahead and put a half hitch on here to kind of secure it. Okay, now I'm going to come in with a couple of uh, black hackle. And these will be palmered on to create a skirt. Tie this down and come forward just a little bit. As you're doing this, I'm grabbing both of them at the same time. Just make sure that they're coming open so the hairs stand out. You can kind of pull on them with your fingers, get them straight. Come out front here and tie it down. back okay I'm gonna come in one more time with a half hitch to secure it and uh, I'm gonna add a little bit more fingernail polish to uh, help set this make, make us a good base to put the head on okay moving on to the head notice that um, I've threaded it onto this needle and I'm going to push it through at the same location that I want the hook to come through and then just pass it through all I did was make a hole to feed this onto the hook all right now before I do that I'm going to put some super glue on the hook shank. This basically is going to stick the, the head to the body. I twist it to get it started and scrunch it back. Things lined up. Okay. Now it's basically there. It's stuck, but we're going to reinforce it with some thread. I'm going to come and grab about an eighth inch of the rear of the body, and I'm wrapping around a full turn, and then I'm going to start pulling and putting pressure on that, and, and see it cinch down. It's like spinning deer hair almost sinking that thread down in there to, to tie it. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and put a half hitch on here. Let it feed down in there. And then the, the finishing part is going to be to put a little bit of super glue down in this crack right here. And I'm going to pull the, the thread down through that crack and that's not going to come out of here. I'm going to put a, one more half hitch on it, sink it up in there, and that's going to be there, not going to come out. All I have to do is cut it, trim it close. Now our fly is basically tied, and we can move on to finish painting. Now at this point I've, I've gone and grabbed some of my darker green and I'm just going to make some of the dark spots like you'll see on a frog. Kind of their warty looking spots. Not a right way or a wrong way to do this. You don't want to do too much spots though to make it all one color. Something like that. Now I'm going to hit it with a hair dryer again. 
Okay, now I'm going to uh, put some white spots on here for some eyes. I'm going to roll the vise over, try and locate them. Actually, before I do the white, I'm going to do a black spot first and then fill in with white. It's best to put your eyes on the bottom of the fly so that the fish can see them. I'm going to turn this kind of on its side. Now this sponge likes to soak up the paint and it's not the prettiest paint job but it's good enough to catch fish. I'm just going to roll it over and try and get some in about the same area on the other side. Something like that. Now I'm going to fill in the black spots with some white. And I'm just going to add a couple dots for pupils. Now, when you don't have a needle with a big enough hole to fit the legs through. You can just take a piece of fly tying thread and uh, double it over and put a knot in it to make a loop and use this the loop to pull the pull it through. So I'm gonna hold it like this and I'm gonna come over here, gotta get my get it turned straight. I'm gonna do an X right here. I'm just gonna feed it right over the top of the hook shank and head for the back corner there in an X type pattern. And then just pull it through, just like that. Hold on to one end of the rubber and let it come through like that. Feed this one through the thread loop. Hold on to it. This. I'm going to come from this direction, do the same thing. Feed it right down over the top of the hook shank. Pull it through, hold on to one of the legs. Just like that. One more time. I'm just going to come through the front here, really. I think I'll come through the back here. i got a little more room, but one more set in the back. Just going to go straight across with this one. Get it down there. Like that. Now, the last thing to do is I'm going to pull these to the right a little bit. Not that far. Then I'm going to put a little super glue on the legs right where they meet the body. 
Just wet it right there a little bit and then take it and give it a pull. Pull it that way and then pull it back out. This needs to be that little bit of super glue in there will make it stick and it won't come out. And just trim it for length. Now there's a brim popper that looks as good as a store-bought, um, more effective, and uh, more durable. You'll catch many fish off this before it comes apart.